guys uh, thanks a lot uh, really excited to be here this is aniket jindal here one of the co-founders of bioeconomy bioeconomy has been sort of a old name in the industry uh, but from the last four years we've been like trying to standardize the web3 ux it's been more than 10 years like still we all the apps are kind of fighting for the same sort of users and it still becomes like extremely difficult to use any application so with bioeconomy in our initiatives and our products we're trying to make sure that we can standardize the ux for the next set of users will be coming on board and using blockchain applications so essentially like with bioeconomy and with the products that we have built like we want to deliver like a web2 like experience like uh currently like uh, after like talking to multiple dapps and also you know been been the industry for like active for last four years onboarding is still very difficult you know uh, gas is always pro- problem you know uh, seed phases like take forever uh, i can list down like 50 you know like broken user flows by which like we are not seeing users using the applications with by economy and our native account abstraction toolkit we make sure that you know we make crypto experience as seamless as possible you know we 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 make sure that users with zero prior crypto experience are able to like use blockchain applications and that's something like you know we've been like striving towards uh, what exactly you know is account abstraction and what what exactly like we are trying to do with it so uh, you know in a plain way account abstraction is a new standard of creating wallets uh traditionally like there has been like two type of wallets like eoas and smart contract wallets uh we all know metamask we all know trust wallet we all know multiple sort of uh, eoas right now these have been like think of them as like non smartphones like probably the phones pre icos pre pre iphone that people had been using that has like low programmability and low customization that is where we had been till now but over the last you know couple of years they have been like you know a serious initiative by ethereum foundation and guys like us to make sure that we create like a new standard of wallet and this new standard is uh, you know we believe it's going to be the way to move forward in terms of using applications so with account abstraction we provide the entire wallet kit where we give you the entire infra to have like a complete wallet stack within the wallet we strongly believe that feature of application is going to be where wallet's going to be within the application there won't be anything like this you know hanging around in your browser uh, for at least like next 5 years or something uh, you know wallet should be like within the application the experience should be like a part of the application ex- application experience not like something that is detached from the experience so we have an sdk you know like by which we provide chain abstraction where we kind of make chain you know irrelevant like irrelevant for the end user like not chain irrelevant for forever but end users can use an application without knowing which chain the application is live on uh this like total gas abstraction where like end users don't have to worry about having gas tokens all the time doing kycs and multiple steps to use an application and like with our we are with our like new initiatives around you know better onboarding we are also making sure that you know there's a key abstraction like users are not just confused between like seed phases and stuff and onboarding becomes super simple so uh, what essentially is like bioeconomy sdk comprise comprising of we have our own smart contract wallets we have our own paymasters we have our own bundlers and we kind of make like custom modules to make this thing work 90 how second morning thing, how this thing look looks in sort of a, a flow chart sort of a design like this is where we are we have like a modular smart contract wallet and we create like custom modules and in fact there's going to be like a module marketplace where like we can create modules as per like application demands and make sure that we can add as as much programmability as we can you know over the infrastructure uh and like we we kind of create like the entire infra for 437 you know like that involves like paymasters and bundlers i mean numbers speak for itself like uh, i mean this might be a bit old like but still like we've been like dominating the account abstraction space where we are still having like maximum number of user ops you know going through our stack uh this is like something mesari posted about us like you know i think like few months ago but uh, i think we have the latest stat we we still in sort of the dom- dominant position right now uh, and like we've been out in the market for quite some time like uh, this is our overall sort of first stacks uh, since like 2019 we've been out in the market we have delivered more than 40 million transactions you know relate more than 3 billion dollar worth of volume through our stack and some of the notable clients who have been using us include like Dolce Gabbana, JP Morgan, Under Thieves, DYDX Sandbox and 
around 200, 300 more clients, you know, like who have used, you know, our stack in the past. So, yeah, this is by economy where, you know, we just want to make sure that we make your application as, as seamless as possible. Um, Thank you so much, Anikat, for your showcase. The time is up. It's quite remarkable with the type of partners you're working. Uh, great job on that. Uh, let's see if the VCs have a few questions. So it's far, in yet. not yet. However, <laughs> I will shoot one. Uh, could yes. you elaborate a little bit more about your partners such as Dolce & Cabana, JP Morgan? How do they use your infrastructure? Yeah, so JP Morgan, uh, you know, uh, if uh, it's all public information where like they had to do like first DeFi transaction where they had to like, you know, build like an internal POC of using Aave. And the problem with them was like, you know, being a you know regulated entity, they cannot hold crypto, or they cannot hold gas. So like in order to do transactions, they always need to be like a transaction stack. And that's how they use our transaction stack. So they did like a transaction on Aave on Polygon using my economy stack. And that was sort of a re remarkable moment and entry for us into the enterprise world because a lot of enterprises want to explore crypto, but you know, like due to like many regulatory, you know, hurdles, they're not able to do it. Where we simplify it for them and make sure that they're able to do all these transactions. So, and quite surprisingly, like how JP Morgan reached out to us is like they uh, use one of our partner applications. So they bought like a land on Decenter land and it was all gasless. And they were like, okay, this is cool. How, how did the gasless magic happen? And it was like through us, so it kind of reached out to us. It was, it was like, you know, one client to another client. So that uh, worked quite perfectly for us. That's a thrilling story. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> Susie. I have a question. Yes. Um, Finn from Masterblocks has a question. You mentioned you have your own paymasters and bundlers. Can you That's elaborate right. more? As I assume you are also 4337 compatible. Is your paymasters or bundlers more decentralized, uh, more than 4337? So when I say we have our own paymasters and bundlers, it means that our paymasters are compliant, 437 compliant. And we build it like in a modular kind of a way where if anyone wants to use, you know, paymasters, you know, we provide them the complete environment. I mean, there's an open source implementation of paymaster as well in 437, but it's very difficult to use by any developer. So we have taken that implementation, we have customized it, we have made sure that this becomes usable. And if anyone wants to use a paymasters, bundlers, you know, you know, they can use us, you know, in, in like plug and play way. Whereas the the former raw implementation would take like a couple of days or in fact weeks as well. Well, thanks for clarifying Thank on you. that. I see we're out of questions. So Anikat, I am very grateful for having you on board today. Thank you for your showcase. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. Love Thank you. Guys. Cheers.